In previous videos on our channel, we introduced our listing builder, specifications and advanced WooCommerce filters for Rehub Theme and Elementor. Now, let's use your custom listing as WooCommerce layout with filters. Create listing as template in Elementor as described in our previous video. When you have listing, it's time to place it as your layout for WooCommerce archives and main shop pages. You must enable special option in listing builder to make it proper working in archives. Don't worry about changed output in template. Listing will have correct post type when you place it in WooCommerce archives. Copy shortcode of template and place it in theme option, shop settings. By default WooCommerce shop will show regular product loop, but if you placed shortcode in theme options, theme will use custom output from your custom template. Let's check also filters to see if they are working. In Data Settings tab of Listing Builder Template, you can choose also pagination type and number of products to show on one page. If you use infinite scroll, maybe, it's better to disable numbers in Listing Builder. There are few other things which you can use to improve user experience, for example, you can enable sliding panel for mobiles. In this case, sidebar will be available only on click of filter button. So, users don't need to scroll all filters before they reach products. You may need to change main link of your shop if you are building directory on WooCommerce instead of shop. For this, find main page of your shop and change its slug for link. You can also change link structure for inner pages in settings, permalinks.